Hey guys, Dale here, and welcome to part one of our brand new playthrough, uh, Mekhive Priya. So we have here, uh, this is, I just relabeled it, renamed it, given it a different description, but this is the afterlife uh, casket from uh, Save Our Ship 2, which can spawn a, like, some kind of gel form hologram type person. Uh, anyhow, we created an android and we have stuck the android in the casket after killing it <laughs> to give life to our Priya core. Uh, so the Priya core is the Persona Recursive Intelligence Agent, uh, is an intricately designed near architect level AI housing developed by scientists whose names have long faded into history, developed on a research outpost a millennia ago. It was, it was being. Oh, wow, I need to fix some of that. Uh, it was the only one of its kind, and it was transported aboard the Horizon, a shuttle assigned to a research vessel lost to time. So we are on the uh, RS Horizon, Research Shuttle Horizon right now. Um, we've been adrift in space for who knows how long. Uh, so the research station the shuttle was assigned to was, uh, we'll say lore-wise, uh, attacked by mechanoids. And we have four scientists who... Uh, decided to escape, decided to install this experimental technology that they'd been developing into this shuttle uh, and hope that the Priya Corps would guide them somewhere new, somewhere safe. Um, and over these, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years, the Priya Corps has been learning. Uh, she has developed a passion for many things, has given herself form, uh, a beautiful, steadfast, fast learning form. Uh, but she is kind of like on her own. And she also doesn't understand the appeal of these humans. So I think her first order of business will, I guess, leave them in cryo sleep, uh, but potentially murder them. <laughs> uh, oh, actually, Priya, let's assign you, let's assign you your own outfit. So actually, we can see. Uh, we can kind of see some of the colonists here. I guess I can show you guys. They're not very important. Uh, we have uh, Sasa Mapley, uh, Hacker Kid AI Programmer. Uh, Irwin, uh, Science Prodigy AI Researcher. Felicia, uh, Child Scientist and AI Researcher. And Casey, uh, Corporate Student, Corporate Manager. Uh, so these guys are in some lab coats and jumpsuits. This guy's in a suit and tie. Uh, we're, we're not really going to concern ourselves with them for now. Uh, Priya's not interested in them. Uh, we're not interested in them. Uh, let me go ahead and fix her apparel stuff. Okay, there we go. She is putting the clothes away. Um, so we're on a, a ship. It has shields. Uh, it's not very well armed. Can we lower these shields a little bit? Uh, it's not armed at all. Like, basically, it just has the heat capacity for managing the shields. Um, and it looks like it's just set up for, like, short-term missions, right? So we can't really hang out here in space. We don't have, like, a cloak or anything. Um, we are going to end up, like, uh, you know, getting attacked. And I'm not sure if we could escape an attack right now. Uh, ship info thrust weight ratio is not bad we're a pretty zippy little shuttle uh, that being said um, you know we we could get smashed really easily so I think we need to take a look at the world and find a place for Priya to set the ship down maybe figure out what to do with these humans and start getting things assembled right so um I'll take a look at the world and we'll find maybe like a nice secluded place for us to land. Okay, I'm liking this tile. It's not too far away from people that we could potentially do some trading with. Um, it is pretty secluded. It's like a cliff face and we could just kind of like build, ooh, I'm moving that around. I could build a wall here, a wall across here and a wall across there and have this kind of like be defended. So let's see if we can put the ship down right there. Uh, we have a drone core, right? So can we land the ship? Ooh, can we land the ship? Go to new planet, rotate, flip ship. Um, man piloting console. Do we need advanced sensors? Because 
uh, we can't we can't hang out here in space. So I might just like dev mode in some advanced sensors for us. <laughs> Go to new planet, vent cooling, um, sensors, observe an area, observe this area. Okay, that's what we need to do. We don't need advanced sensors. We just need we just need our little sensors that we already had. Okay, we're observing the area. It is, it's not great. We have uh, Exostrider right there. And there's actually geothermal in that area that I said like, oh, we'll just like box it in right here. Okay, so can you land the ship? I guess we could land it like right, well, there's like all this soft soil, right? We can land... I don't want to land over a geothermal geyser. How close can we land it to that stuff? Okay. Yeah, I think right here. Right against the rock face. Pretty close to the geothermal. And then instead of boxing this whole area off, we just like box the ship off. So let's do that. I think that's good. Okay, Priya is bringing us down for a landing. And I guess she she's capable of a lot of things. I'm not quite sure. She should be able to like lead the ship, right? As long as this has power, she's all set. The one concern is if this guy loses power then Priya, I think, goes, like, unconscious and eventually, like, dies. I don't know if she, like, de and we can, like, respawn her. So uh, I don't necessarily want to find out. We do have a magnetic shield on board. We are not producing enough power if we we're going to keep that going unless we turned our overdrive on. And we're overproducing tons of power, and we have 1.4 years of power. I guess we'll leave that off for now. We do have a bunch of, like, high-capacity capacitor arrays and some batteries, so I think we should be set for a little while, and then we'll we'll figure out what we can do power-wise. Research-wise, like, we can, we can repair, like, the most basic components of our ship, but um, Priya has not... She has not had, like, a form for a long time. For a very long time, she's just been this, like, box in the wall. Um, so I think one of the first things that we want to do is no path. Uh, there we go. Is maybe see about getting some mechs going. So let's get that on. And then actually, Drone core, can you turn the shield off? No, you can't. Tactical station. Toggle the shield. Does that get us the power we need? No, it doesn't. What are other... Like, we can turn a bunch of things off, I guess. That's our research bench. That's our multi-analyzer. We'll keep those on. Um, are these consoles drawing power? They are. So I guess we can turn these off for now as well. Anything else? You? No. Okay. This'll this'll take a moment. We'll come back when she's done. Okay, she's done it. Let's get out of here. I don't know what happens if you catch on fire. Okay. Let's go ahead and put the fire out. We have the mechanoid transponder. We don't have any weapons or anything, so that could potentially be a problem for us. We do have a bunch of bodies we could throw at it. So if Priya could wake up, she could maybe like summon these mechanoids and then tell these guys like, hey, there's like a threat that's happening. Um, okay, fire's out. Oh, it was like on sand. Um, why don't you go ahead and decrypt this transponder? And then maybe have them just kind of like sacrifice them to those mechanoids in order for her to get her mech link. Um, yeah, that could that could work out. I'll have to think about it. For now, we're going to go ahead and mine some steel and we are just going to put up some like walls around the ship uh, and then maybe some traps if possible. Um, 
we need we need a weapon what kind of weapon can you craft uh you can make emp launchers you can make a mini turret pack actually uh why don't you you're gonna free memory space you are an android um let's have you make a mini turret pack work at low after you clear your memory that way you have at least that going for you can we make we could probably make something pointy right but we need smithing uh we don't have very much research unlocked so i think the first order of business is potentially doing like research stuff so let's turn on uh let's override the architecture tab let's override the research tab uh, that way we get these. So smithing, research that, gunsmithing. Uh, oh, we need to research machining. We have a machining table, but we don't have like the basics down. Oh, electricity. We need to research smithing. Okay. Well, you're pretty smart and we have a large multi-analyzer. So um, why don't you go ahead and equip that? And then let's get some mining done uh, so we can start working on the walls. Do we, do we summon, wait, call Queen Freya's barracks. Summon requires a mechanator. Uh, wait, did we get the quest? Overseer, one tesseron. Could we throw these bodies at one tesseron? We could, and then we could, like, throw them back into, like, crypto sleep, right? So why are you taking that off? Assign scientist edit lab coat, right? It's normal. It's fine. Go ahead and wear it. Um, yeah, okay. So Priya's woken them up. She's letting them know, hey, we've like crashed on a planet. Uh, you know, it's been X number of years. Why don't you guys wake up and eat? And little do they know that like a mech threat, which they just escaped, right? They climbed into crypto sleep uh, and think that they like escaped the mechs. And they're going to have to deal with a Tesseron right off the bat. Okay, so they flick some things off. We do have a power, an excess power, now that, like, things are flipped back on or have been turned off. Let's go ahead and get you guys, like, repairing things. Um, I guess you can work on some crafting. Everyone can do research. Um, what else? Construction? Who's our best constructors? Like, you can construct. And Priya can do art. They can all do drugs. Turn on butchering. I guess it doesn't matter. Like, we have food for them while they're going to be around. They're not going to be around for very long, hopefully. Um, actually, do we wait or do we just like tell them to go now? Like, go punch this Tesseron. Let's see if four people, two of them are incapable of violent. <laughs> so what, Casey and Irwin are incapable of violent? You guys are just like not useful at all. It's our ladies. Our lady scientists are the ones that are like going to go punch Tesseron. Um, well, I guess the ones that are incapable of violent, they can just like maybe bait the tesseron into punching them while the other two actually do the punching okay so tesseron is on its way it's coming down this way okay you guys get up front uh the ones that can do the punching you guys hide we don't want you to catch fire okay okay oh not a very good hiding. Okay. Felicia. You guys stand back. Okay. Now that he's getting punched, 
You guys move in. Meanwhile, Priya, you can come extract this mech link. And I guess we'll mark all that for hauling. Oh, they did it. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll keep that body around. Uh, can we put mechanoid bodies on a shelf? What if we do important and clear all critical or corpses? Mechanoid corpses? Let's see. Friendly enemy. Tesseron, you show up here. Oh my god, there's so many, so many different types of mechanoids. Okay, we will throw that guy on the shelf potentially for, I don't know, we might tear him apart, but we might resurrect him. Okay, Priya, you actually have a weapon. Let's get this mech link installed, and then I think we'll get like a little friend, like a little constructor bot. Okay, install mech link. Okay, and her bandwidth is higher than typical. Usually it's zero out of six, and that's because her her psychic sensitivity is probably a little higher. Yeah, 125. So if we can increase her psychic sensitivity with like Altex gear or anything like that, um, then she will She'll increase her bandwidth, so that's more mechs that she can install. So, pods arrived. Constructoid. Okay, little Constructoid, I guess we should probably actually pivot to mech tech, because we need to build, like, a charger for you, right? So, basic mech tech, let's queue that up first. And we can probably throw a couple more research benches down, right? Production... Let's just do like simple research benches. Uh, we can throw one right there. And it's not going to be the prettiest. Oh, we don't have beds for everyone. Furniture. I don't have beds for everyone because we didn't really anticipate having anyone around. We'll just throw some sleeping spots down there. And then I guess we can get rid of that screen. We'll throw another research bench just right there. Like, I'm not too concerned about their comfort getting into the bedroom. They can climb over a desk. This is Priya's show. Okay, we'll let them get to repairing things, and then we will we'll come back as we can. Actually, we can deconstruct this stuff. Is there other steel on the map? I don't know if this stuff will deconstruct into things that we can use. There's the free steel, so let's get some plans down. Uh, structures. Uh, we'll just go with like a basic steel wall for now. We'll start with this southern wall. Okay, we have a, an exotic goods trader, like, right away. I guess let's call them and see what they have to trade. I don't even... We don't have very much silver. We have 800, but if we could get a weapon, that would be great. Um, Let's see. Do you have any weapons? You have psychic shock lances and things. Uh, droid reactor, uh, don't need that yet, so I guess not too important. Uh, tech prints, ooh, shuttle, uh, 5,500, yeah, there's, there's no way. Um, components, we don't have anything to sell them either. Plasteel, we don't have very much of. I would take some plasteel. We do like 33, that gets us like a nice round number, it takes half of our silver. Um, let's do some spots, miscellaneous, 
trading spot we'll stick that right there and then orbital drop spot let's we can stick that right in there as well uh we are doing some stone cutting because i realized we're going to be using a lot of steel for like droid building and whatnot <laughs> um so we should probably not be spending it on walls uh biotech we can make mech rechargers now okay where are we gonna stick this mech recharger oh we don't have to stick it against the wall we can stick it anywhere let's stick it i guess right there for now just subcore subcore encoder maybe less of that and more of this um, I would like to stick it in this facility, right? So let's maybe move some of this stuff around. Uh, I want to keep it in here because our our orbital thing is in here. And then we'll stick the sub subcore encoder right there. Mech gestator. Mm -hmm. Let's move this stuff over. Okay, so she's convinced, Priya's convinced them that they need some droids to help them survive, some mechs. Um, so she is going about and assembling some of this technology. She's already brought like a little constructor bot in. And now she is going to grow some defenses. And hopefully we won't need these people for very much longer. Can we stick it that way? Yeah. We don't have enough steel. We have steel that we're mining there. Where else could we mine some steel? I think, oh, there's some silver. If we grab it and select all, there's some, there's some. There's not any more steel closer to our base. So I guess we'll just deal with that for now. Concrete foundation. Oh, we have to deal with like the soft sand stuff. Okay. So that maybe adjusts our plans to bring this down here. Remove the plans. And we can probably like cut these corners off. What is a, the sand situation looking like up there? It's pretty gross. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a bit worse. I guess it gets us more space. Uh, but I guess we'll do that until we can actually build some whatever it's called do can we build bridges orders uh structures okay we can build bridges so i guess once we get some stones cut we'll like put some bridges down so i'll readjust these plans in a bit okay we are able to deconstruct a lot of the other excess mech strider parts we've had to punch that one piece but it's also getting us components for vehicles so that's something that we might need to queue up as well bulk goods trader um ooh, let's get all these like car parts and stuff in see if we can sell some of those oh i was like who is this guy there's a there's just a visitor on the map okay and then we'll get these hauled in we have been smelting some of that slag priya why don't you see what this bulk goods trader can get us okay ask to trade with them will you take you will take components you'll take medicine i don't think we're gonna need medicine and she's the one doing the trading um whoops oops okay car exhaust yeah it's gonna be a long time before we do car stuff um eva helmets clothing 
Yeah, I think that is pretty nice. Let's get us some advanced components. I guess they just have four. Um, maybe some more plasteel as well. What else did I see? Let's just grab a little bit of gold. And then let's do more plasteel. Yeah, I guess we can like crank it up because there is that like silver vein. So that can help us like replenish. Um, but okay, the thing that I want to do sub Android tech, um, sub persona shells. What do we need for that? We need machining. So once we do smithing, we'll do machining, we'll do sub persona shells, and then I think we'll go for geothermal. Um, cause we, well, we don't have like a huge deficit in power. We could probably do solar cause we have tons of batteries. Okay. I don't know where we got this charge lance from, but we have a charge lance. Um, maybe it was like the mech crash or something. Uh, I have, I realize that there's like more vehicles and stuff on the map. So we're deconstructing those real quick. Uh, and when I came back to see if we'd like hauled any stuff in, there's a charge lance just sitting there. Uh, it's not probably like the best weapon if we were going to just have a person with a single weapon. Um, you know, if you were a super crack shot, maybe, but it's better than nothing for sure. Okay, our little constructoid is building his mech recharger, and then we will unforbid the mech gestator. Looks like we're finally working on some stone, so let's get some walls up. Um, structure, let's do granite walls. Ah, I lost it. <laughs> there we go. Granite walls. And we'll just start with that. Actually, I would like for them to have a way out over here. So let's do that. And let's do some steel doors. Okay, we have our mech gestator. We have our subcore encoder. Um, Priya has six free bandwidth. So we're going to make six subcores. Um, I want a I want a lift turtle. Um, and we probably don't need a cleaner for now. Uh, let's, we're gonna say like uh, horizon landing site is what we'll call this for now. Priya thinks you should give your, oh, faction. Well, the humans don't know this, but this is, this is gonna be mech hive Priya. Um, so we'll do a lift turtle. So it's just basically a lifter, but it's like this cute little turtle model. Um, this lifter is pretty cool looking, but yeah, we'll get one of those. And then I guess we'll get like five Militors going for some defense, right? Um, and I think that's probably it for timing wise today. Um, definitely feel like we... <laughs> get a lot done we got set up to do a lot though um and i'm pretty excited to play this i have not i've not gone full in on kind of mechanator stuff um i've been wanting to try out all these various like android and automaton mods for a while and i've been wanting to do a proper sos 2 playthrough so this is gonna be all of that and um I can't wait to see how it all plays out. Thanks for hanging out, you guys. As always, until next time, have a good one. Bye.